So what's the Islamic view on the theory of evolution? Evolution, um, uh, as far as I know, uh, Muslim scholars so far, they never had a problem with evolution, but only the question, big uh, question mark was about the evolution of a human being. And as far as I know, even the scientists, uh, they are making it as a theory, but not yet scientifically proven. And even that uh, missing um, uh, missing chain of that, uh, uh, we can say, the human between uh, uh, between monkey and the human being, that uh, is not yet proven. Mm. Yeah, and uh, as far as I know, Darwin uh, uh, or one of Darwin. his followers, yeah, br bringing this uh, the uh, uh, jaw of the of the monkey or human or whatever, and they, they scientifically proven that it's just made up, fabricated, doesn't mm. match. So. Um, so, from uh, the scholars of uh, Islamic uh, theology, they do not accept, as far as I know, that uh, human being went through the evolution. Okay, and um, but I, th I think now, very recently, some of the you can say uh, Muslim, you can say thinkers or orators, they started uh, claiming that even in Islam there is evolution, etc. But from my own uh, knowledge, the vast majority of the Muslim scholars, uh, they have a problem with the human being going through evolution, but the rest of the animals and the nature, etc., they do not have any problem with that uh, idea. And, and why do they have a problem specifically with human beings? With human beings, because there are some certain verses, okay, which, uh, uh, which says um, that human being is created from the dust. Okay, uh, so so I think we have to stop in this issue in a bit like a, a deeper, mm. yeah, because we don't want to attribute to Quran something that Quran did not say, yeah. But uh, anyway, that is uh, our understanding, and uh, the vast majority of Muslim scholars, if it's not everyone, they say that human being is uh, um, out of the context of the evolution. But uh, mm. Allah knows. Yes. Okay, thank you.